you know, it's a tiny Mauritian island. I glued five pieces of rosewood together to form half the tabletop. I scraped off the excess glue and put the slab on its side. Using a sharpie I marked the coastline. A jigsaw took quite a while as the wood is very hard. After that, I glued the bottom piece to the top. It was lots of fun to cut and shape the various tiny islands on the bandsaw. There was a slot in one of the boards, which was easily filled and sanded down. I made the sideboards and glued those to the pine using hot glue. These boards are coated with packing tape and make up part of the mold. I made sure to use mold release on the boards so they won't stick to the epoxy. I picked up these tiny pieces of coral, coral. coral. to embed in the epoxy. Pouring epoxy in layers keeps it from cracking. I also added some trace amounts of blue pigment. Hey man, why do you keep skipping important parts of the video? Unsubscribe! The reason for the lack of footage is because my old laptop crashed and this caused a lot of the video to got corrupt, so sorry about that. These boards weren't easy to remove. Using a pair of pliers makes this a lot easier. After that, I sanded and polished the epoxy to a mirror shine. Adding a couple of coats of varnish protects the wood from moisture. I cut the legs and sand them to equal lengths. I glued and tamped the legs and cut the backboard to size. I then connected these two pieces to create the frame. Sadly, this didn't quite work out. Ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Now the reason why this piece broke off is because there was still some paint on the board, basically rendering the wood glue useless. So I sanded the paint off and did all of this again. This time, I reinforced the joints with dowels. I had changed the metal cutting blade on my bandsaw to a wood cutting blade. These cuts were made to form the front of the desk. Using a rip fence helps you get nice straight edges. I then glued and nailed all these pieces together. I then took that whole section and glued it to the front of the table. And adding a support in the middle makes it 10 times stronger. I then started making the drawers by cutting them to size and nailing them in place. The drawers looked a bit bland, so I painted them and added a blue strip on the top.
I connected the drawer ornaments to the table using wood screws. Clamping the drawer fronts to the drawer makes them very easy to attach. I gave the table light sanding and glued the top to the rest of the table. Once again, I finished off with a few coats of varnish. Now, I know it has some imperfections, imperfections, imperfections. What the f But, I'm still quite happy with it. Some people don't like this, but I'm a big fan of the nails and uh, dowel joints. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and if you want to see the previous video, Click the empty coffee cup.